It has been a whirlwind few weeks as New Mexico continues to slide backward in its fight against the Delta variant. We are now getting an update from the governor on whether we should expect more restrictions in the future. Here's News 13's Brittany Bate. Well, Kim, the governor says nothing is off the table, but she says during this fourth wave, she has more tools to use before resorting to more mandates or closures. When I made really tough decisions, which I stand by today still, I would make them again and will make them again if that's the only tool in the toolbox. We have two significant tools, vaccines and masks. Governor Michelle Lujan Grisham says she has not made any decisions yet, but will be meeting with her modeling team to look at current trends and data in the coming days. As for what New Mexicans should be prepared for, Lujan Grisham says more clarification about wearing masks in New Mexico. And in addition to more mandatory vaccine protocols for people who work in state government, people who work in private businesses may also have to get the vaccine soon. I think you should expect that more private sector companies will be partnering with us and making uh, mandatory vaccine announcements shortly. That's certainly my expectation based on all of the work we've done in the last several days working with large employers across the state. Lujan Grisham did not clarify what large companies those may be or if the employees who do not have the vaccine will have the option to do regular COVID testing like state employees. Though right now, Lujan Grisham says they are focused on getting more school aged kids vaccinated, especially especially in rural parts of the state where vaccination rates remain well below the state average. Kim. OK, thanks, Brittany. Now, according to the state's vaccine dashboard, 41% of New Mexico's 12 to 17 year olds are fully vaccinated.